What's happening guys? Hope you're well. Paul, Jamie Construction's back again for another week's worth of antics. Today I'm over Whitford doing a structural single doorway of a concrete lintel. I've got my new boots. My new Dr. Martin's on, so I'm absolutely raring to go. So uh, next time you'll see me, I'll be on the job. Right, so we are uh, creating a single door opening in this masonry wall. So, because we've got an occupied house and everything's all done and nice, um, floor protection and dust suppression is king. So, what we're doing is this little opening here. Um, so, it's going to be a 825 mil structural opening with a lintel, minimum 100 mil bearing. We're probably going to give it um, 150 mil, I think. So that's that. We've got a couple of sockets there that are going to have to go. The radio is just about all right. So I'm just getting the protection round now. So we're trying to isolate the dust. We've got the Hilti Hoover and the DCH uh, 300. So that should keep a lot of it down. It's only the clearing up really that's going to create the dust. So a bit of prep work and then we start taking it down. Right, so let's have a little look. We've cut down both sides, no need for any propping just yet. We've just punched an old pro to make way for our strong boy. So we're getting that pro and a strong boy in, and that will safely support the load above. And then we've got two choices you can either break out, fit the lintel, and then take the wall down. Um, now you've got your cuts, or take the wall down and put the lintel in after. Either way, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, sound. Right, that is that. It's absolutely flying down. It's taken about 20 minutes, it has, to clear up so far. This is why we like using that hilt as well. Look how square you get that cut all the way down that edge. And it catches all the dust. It's a good little tool, that. So now we're going to break SDS, stitch out for this lintel, and then we'll get that fitted, and then we'll carry on with the clean up. So, <clears throat> quick update. Um, wall is down, lintel's in, oh. always good practice to put a little bit of mortar underneath the lintel, so as you jack that up, it's a nice solid foundation to take the load of the brickworks, um, just in case you've got any undulations there, so that's all in. Dry packed, we had to take a brick out of that side because it won't even on this side. So took a brick out there and we've dry packed that. Dry packed that side, so. Dry pack is, it's like a lean, dry mix, sharp sand and cement. A bit like screed, and you knock it up and you just pack it in there as hard as you can. And uh, you don't get no shrinkage and no cracking. If you are worried about cracking, you can also put slate, natural slate um, packers in there or metal shims and it allows you to do it the same day then you ain't got to let the lintel go off before you carry on with all the rest of the work.
see there, I've just taken that course of bricks down, lower than the floor threshold, and then um, put a prop underneath. I'll put it on a brick, because the brick's narrower than the width of the prop. So I didn't want it to bust these tiles. So I've just pinched that up, so that's now supporting that. Take the strong boy out, and uh, I can now carry on with the clean up. Look how much gear we got that's come out. Surprising really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20 bags of gear there. 20 bags of gear. Here we lays up, measure, bosh. We are done for the day, so there you have it, single doorway into a brickwork opening, leave the prop in overnight, that come down tomorrow, we've took the door frame, door liner off of there, put some 4 by 2 stud work in, that's ready for plasterboard and skim, so that basically allows another whole wall there with usable space in the kitchen. So, just trying to maximise the space when you've got these galley kitchens. It's quite narrow, you know, so now, you imagine once that's boarded in, they can come right down here then. Just a much better layout. I'm going to go up to Western Road now and see how the lads are getting on. The old spot check. Hopefully everyone's grafting. See you in a minute. Well, I've just popped up to Western Road, seeing how everyone's getting on. Um, pretty much there today as well. Just unloaded to my core from the other job. Come for the grab. Tim's putting the wall starters on. What else is going on? <coughs> nothing. Nothing. That's it. Nothing else. Tidying up. Skip's coming tomorrow, so we'll have a good sort out. This is all gonna be backfilled into this hole. So that'll all be clear. Diggers are fired tomorrow. Yep. Diggers are fired in the morning. And then, um, yeah, we've got the blocks, firm lights, sand, cement, all getting delivered tomorrow. Courtesy of PGRs, Langdon. Tuesday morning, how are we doing guys? So we're back over Wickford doing this uh, goalpost steel. Steels are on their way, they'll be here in about half hour, 45 minutes, coming on the back of a trailer, because they're over three meters long. So me and Chris are just getting prepped at the minute. I'll show you how we're getting on. So I've got to clean out the bottom of that masonry just to allow for the plate. Chris is cutting off the wall tyres, the metal wall tyres. Both sides. And then we're going to have to try and cut through this lintel as well. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a ball like that.
Right, so shift it along a little bit Pretty much there, look. Steels are in. We've got a nice, what, 25mm for dry pack on the inside. Bricky's back to do the outside. Jobs are good and Use the uni props, it made it so much easier, so much quicker as well. Just setting that steel into position, was able to just adjust it up pretty much millimetre perfect, and then drop the ram in, put it in the other side, to get that other side nice and level. You think the amount of weight you're trying to carry on a prop normally to bang it round and get it up, so that was a lot better, much, much better. Really enjoyed using them. Shot down PGRs and uh, got some sharp sand cement. Knocked up a nice dry lean mix, three on one. Dry pack it, force it in that gap, and then there's no shrinkage then. So I'm gonna crack on with that, and then we're gonna put some bricks through the front, and then we're good to go. So we've got flush, no bulkhead, and then flush on that side. It yeah. goes underneath that plate. I'll get you to do that in a minute, Chris. Yeah. You can knock that up and throw it in. Alright. Alright. Morning, Paul. 
I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, cheers, mate. See you later, Chris. Wednesday morning, just shot down to Rayleigh to get the uh, key for the Western Road job off my ground workers. Um, they're all finished on ours for now, so they've got uh, this little project on the go in Rayleigh. A little in-betweeny, and then they'll be back on. I'm gonna head over to Western Road now. I'm gonna meet the um, Bricky, run for a few details. The client's coming out as well, so see you shortly. Right, so. I'm up Western Road, let's have a little look, um, Bricklayer's on his way, no lights in here, pitch black, that's better, yeah Dino's on his way, TTB, traditional bricklayer. So, <clears throat> we're looking good now. Skips on, all the rubbish has been cleared out. We've got a pallet of blocks for the outside. Happy days. We've got a pallet of cell cons on the inside, courtesy of PGRs at Landon. And then all the blocks are in loaded out pretty much ready to go um, wall starters are all on and the wind piers I've got the sparky coming tomorrow he's going to have a look at all this electrics try and disconnect everything and put us a temporary on six or eight double sockets just to keep the job going uh, once I get a date from the traditional bricklayer, we'll um, get this shutter down and then uh, make a start. We need to lose this rainwater downpipe. That can't go because that's obviously taking surface water from the roof, so we don't want to flood the building out. So once we get a day from the brick here, we'll get the shutter down get the ground workers back and we'll disconnect that get the brick work up block work up and then we can get this roof off get the scaffold here so next couple of weeks we're going to be pushing right on on this job this is going to be the doorway entrance off of these steps so we'll just give these a lick of paint um, that pin there will probably be the threshold for the floor height or the top of the floor joists so we'll have about 10, 10 mil on top of that. I would have thought 10, 15 mil. So that'll work out lovely. That measurement's been transferred inside. <coughs> Show you what we've got. On that line there, you can see the pin coming through, so 2.8 we've got down to the existing slab we've got 75 mil screed 75 mil insulation so that's 150 off of that and then we've got an 8 by 2 so 200 mil down so 350 down from that and that'll give us our ceiling height so that's probably well within regulations um, and yeah a lovely lovely high ceiling so what's that 2, 4, 30, 50 so push the after that so that we'll put some datum lines around with the laser and that'll give the bricky the height we'll transfer that along this wall we've got two steels going in what are they going to be two seven meter steels so the engineers best that's a nine inch wall so pad stone pad stone sitting on top of that wall because we're going to insulate on the inside so we won't have any cold spots and then um, that's it then floor joists will go the opposite way we just notch them out into the web of the steel 
put some noggins in, strengthen it. Cable deck. And after that, we can start getting the uh, walls up for the first floor. That's going to be six by twos, C24 timbers, and then we'll have got the drawings here. If you look at that, we've got two steels coming through, 203, 203, 46 universal columns, and they're going to count the lever out a metre. Yeah, then we'll link the two up, and that's going to be our balcony. So that's all good. What's going on guys? Thursday morning, I'm over Western Road. I'm just meeting Sparky's over here, Kieran and Rob. We just had a quick run through. Shutters are open to get some light through. So as I said yesterday, um, all the lights, all the electrics, they're all going. Everything on this wall can completely go up to the board. Um, legally, they're not allowed to move that. So. That's going to be a conversation with the customer and his energy supplier. Um, so that's that. Obviously, this is letting in enough light without anything up there. So we'll probably ditch all the lights as well. So we've only got one visit. And then we'll just get some temporary lights in there while the bricky does the front. So yeah, another thing ticks off the list today. Yeah, so if we, so we can treat this downstairs as separate to upstairs? Yeah. So basically... Upstairs are very and everything, so... Yeah, so once we... Supply from here. So if we get all the brickwork done, get the ground floor in, you ain't going to run... You want to run anything under the slab? No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. We'll just go up. Yeah, and then... Um, or round or whatever, put your sockets That's down it, here yeah. or whatever. What sort of ceiling is going to be in it? Going to be able to like concrete ceiling? No, nah, it's going to be... Um, Eight by two timbers. You've got two, right, two yeah. steel beams going through there, yeah. and then it's going to go off like that. That's so, fine, then. so then once fine. that, we'll get that floor on, and then yeah. we'll probably get you back to do downstairs. And then while we build that, we'll do upstairs after that. I reckon that'd be the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. 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 Yeah, that's got a bitty day today so not much going on i'm down the gym this morning nice and early um so i've got buyers and tries get that cracked out and i'm going to shoot up and uh open up for the brickies they're going to be starting today so i've got some bricks to unload and um yeah so happy days exciting times getting them set up start getting the block work done bosh <laughs> Thank you. 
up Western Road, uh, just having a quick run through the brickies, Dean and Sam, Sam's getting the mixer set up now, um, spot boards are coming out.
messages through our Facebook page picked out some Fronsky beats. This is why. Right, so Ricky's have had a good day. Done as far as they can up to there. Obviously, you don't want to go too high because um, they're solids. You can end up losing the wall, so you've got to be careful with that. Sort of maximum seven courses. So that one's good. He's done the business for us here. He's done a little Welsh arch detail just to bridge over uh, the armoured cable until we get power networks back to sort that out. I've had Jay in to dismantle the shutter. He's taken all the curtain off, uh, decharged the spring. We just need to get a genie lifter in now, Monday, Tuesday, um, probably weighs quarter of a ton. So we didn't really want to manual handle that. So we'll get a genie lifter in, take that down nice and safe. And that is it. So that completes another week Paul Jamie Construction. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. Anything you want to see coming up, let us know. And I'll see you on Monday, guys. Take care.